Good morning, Year One. I've chosen four poems to read to you from the Puffin Book of Amazing Animal Poems. So remember, while I'm reading these poems, try and listen out for any words that rhyme. Is there any repetition in the poem or any of the lines repeated? And also get a feel for the rhythm of the poem. So the first poem is called Two Little Kittens. And there they are, the two little kittens by the fire. Two little kittens, one stormy night, began to quarrel and then to fight. One had a mouse and the other had none, and that was the way the quarrel begun. I'll have that mouse, said the bigger cat. You'll have that mouse, we'll see about that. I will have that mouse, said the tortoise shell, and spitting and scratching on her sister she fell. I've told you before, it was a stormy night, when these two kittens began to fight. The old woman took the sweeping broom and swept them both right out of the room. The ground was covered with frost and snow. They had lost the mouse and had nowhere to go. So they lay and shivered and beside the door till the old woman finished sweeping the floor. And then they crept in as quiet as mice all wet with the snow and as cold as ice. They found it much better that stormy night to lie by the fire than to quarrel and fight. And the author of that poem is Jane Taylor. That's the lady who wrote all the words for the poem. So there we go, there's the mouse that we're trying to catch. And there they are by the fire at the end, deciding to get on and be friends. And the second poem I've chosen is my mum won't let me keep a rabbit. So here's a little boy in the poem. Mum won't let me keep a rabbit. She won't let me keep a bat. She won't let me keep a porcupine or a water rat. I can't keep pigeons and I can't keep snails. I can't keep kangaroos or wallabies with nails. She won't let me keep a rattlesnake or viper in the house. She won't let me keep a mamba or its meal a mouse. She won't let me keep a wombat and it isn't very clear why I can't keep iguanas, jellyfish or deer. I can't keep a cockroach or a bumblebee. I can't keep an earwig, a maggot or a flea. I can't keep a wildebeest and it's just my luck. I can't keep a mallard, a dab chick or a duck. She won't let me keep piranhas Toads or even frogs. She won't let me keep an octopus or muddy water hogs. So out in the garden, I keep a pet ant. And up in the attic, now it says it upside down here, this last line. Um, it's back to front, it says, a secret elephant backwards. So this little boy is managing to keep a secret elephant. There we go. When I'm looking at it, it's backwards, but it's because of the camera, okay? So, the third poem I've chosen is Penguin's Problem. So there are all the penguins there. Penguin's Problem. Penguin had a problem. Penguin was upset. The problem with Penguin was he hated getting wet. Walrus tried to help him by teaching him to swim. But Penguin only paddled. He wouldn't venture in. It's hard to be a penguin. If you're not a brilliant swimmer, it's hard to find the fish you have to catch to eat for dinner. Penguin solved the problem. Penguin learned to float. He bought himself a fishing rod and built himself a boat. <laughs> there we go. So there's a walrus trying to teach him. And that poem was, the author is Cathy Horton. So that poem. And the final one I've selected is the underwater camel. There is the underwater camel. The underwater camel lives in streams and lakes and pools. His hobbies are collecting stamps and jumping over stools. He likes to wear pyjamas and play the slide trombone. And if you ring his number, he'll play it under the phone. Sorry, play it down the phone. So there he is, the underwater camel. I've never seen one of those before, have you? 
and that was by Jonathan Allen. So year one, I hope you've enjoyed those four poems I've selected for you today. You might have a poetry book at home, perhaps, that you could have a little look in today to read some poems. And then tomorrow we'll begin writing our poem. Okay, well done year one. Thank you.